Okay, these are not actually lightsabers. Um, this is a wireless LED tube. It's an Astrolite. And I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that we have picked up while we've been using them. Okay, so first tip, 50-50 or split lighting. We have two Asterolites here. We've got one in nice lime green and one in a purpley color. So we've got our wonderful assistant here. Essentially, all you wanna do with the lights, a very easy tip, is place one either side of the subject slash model slash assistant. Um, so they just blend together very nicely in the middle. They look especially good when there's no other light source. So you can move the lights around. All you really want to do essentially is place one the opposite of where the other one is. We have one above, below the subject, any angle you want. And if you have a nice background like we do in a studio, you can always reflect it slightly off there depending where you place the lights. Easy trick, looks amazing. Split lighting. Okay, so another trick is to light the background using a hidden light source. As you can see in front of me, I've got a key light on my face which is in single Astra light, probably only useful for a close-up. But what you don't see is behind me, we have a blue Astra light here reflecting off the studio background. Because we're filming in a studio, it has a great effect, but that can also be achieved with a single color white paper background or a sheet just to reflect that light there. Because the, these Astra lights are so light and thin and they have their individual stands, they can be hidden within the frame lines, within the set, to light up areas of the background. Another easy trick to dramatically enhance your footage using the Astra lights, as you can see, this camera filming, again, our wonderful model subject, has no matte box, it is just a raw lens. So because they are so lightweight, you, you or someone else can hold them directly underneath the lens, shining into the glass, any color you like, or at the sides of the lens or above, to get that light infiltration look. The lights can be programmed for a variety of colors and effects, which means they're a perfect pair to use with smoke and haze effects. Add some flashing lights as well, and you have an amazing, amazing look to your image. Just be careful not to use too much smoke. In this scene, I'm using the Astera lights for a common portrait setup. Because the lights already have a soft diffusion, you won't get any of the nasty highlights or shiny areas or greasiness to the face as you often do with undiffused lights. In fact, this setup is so good, it actually looks like it's been lit with soft boxes which are designed for portrait setups in a studio.